Hi, this is Carl James Langford for my video log on channel 01 to 1975. It's January the 12th and January the 13th. Bananas. They're lovely things, aren't they? These, these sort of um, wonderful things. I made a mistake then, went off track, but just decided. Anyway, back to the good stuff. Now, on Monday and Tuesday, I decided to, uh, uh, on the Monday evening I went back to the acting class that um, I was um, going to before Christmas. So I continued on, so I'll be continuing doing another 10 days of those, um, learning the art as much as, um, as today I've been, uh, on, well on the Monday I was planning um, some more acting jobs and sort of organising uh, what I need to do. And um, on Tuesday who was teaching um, about the um, seven ancient wonders um, obviously um, I keep saying that my my acting classes are um, um, what am I about my archaeology classes that I teach I'm obviously doing that at the minute to pay the bills um, but uh, obviously I can see a time in the future where where I'm not gonna be able to do the teaching at all but I've got a plan to keep my uh, a business running um, with somebody else in to um, to continue who will probably be good as me uh, with uh, teaching my classes but obviously more news about that in the near future I uh, went to my studio today um, to um, sort of uh, do some work with John uh, John's the guy who comes into the studio um, who probably watches these videos as well who helps out with some of the pottery stuff and I get on top of um, you know paperwork and whatever um, and just meet people I was talking to the organizer um, well the person who runs the place where I got my potteries um, on the Tuesday and we were talking about uh, a little business idea that I've got well not that I've got that was put into my mind um, which I'll show in the near future they got this idea that you've got these little clay sort of uh, acorn shaped things and you put an acorn on there in there um, before you seal it you put the ashes of a loved one in and uh, you, you plant it in a hedgerow and it grows into a big oak tree and stuff um, and it's a better way than just scattering your ashes so you know that that idea will come up in the near future um, Today I've, I've started to, uh, as well, um, do another poster to promote some of the work I'm doing and I've decided um, that my brand will be particularly um, to sort of, yeah I've got a brand because I'm a channel for what I do, all the different activities, I'm, a, I'm sort of a channel for my my, my book writing so um, sort of I, I was um, distributing and promoting my book on Monday and Tuesday to two separate books bookshops and chasing things up so obviously my teaching is another channel my acting is another channel my children are another channel so doing all these different things and sort of uh, yeah keep my keep myself really busy um, one and obviously trying to sort of um, one, one of the things that I'm particularly interested in is to um, sort of go back to all technology sort of um, as I said um, do designing posters by hand and sort of anything I'm, I'm giving out to try and sort of do by hand and get it printed right so I've got a friend called John who's got an old sort of um, press that he can set everything another a friend called John I've got several friends called John so that would be really good so but on the top of it everything's running fine you know keeping up to date with people on social media and stuff and whatever with my video logs this is what I do it for but one thing in particular uh, is the past few days the past week with with all this stuff in France um, and uh, I, I just get in um, I just get really sort of uh, not not angry but sort of um, sort of confused with people's um, attitudes to uh, what what's going on uh, with um, with the religions with the, the the constant war between Christianity and uh, Islam and the war between Islam and sort of the Jews and all this it's stupid stuff is religion religion I've started to believe is completely pointless I might believe in the existence of Jesus Christ yes I do he's a really good man uh, his teachings were absolutely amazing you know 
love thy neighbour. And what does Christianity do? Go off on its crusades in 1090, murdering and executing thousands, if not millions, of people who are supporters of Islam. Islam now um, have done exactly the same to the Christian, and then the Christian turns on the Jew, and then the Arab turns on the Jew. And do you know one thing I see in the world? You never hear anything about the Sikhs, do you? Uh, you never hear anything about the Buddhists. You never hear anything about the Hindu. Why? Are they more sensible religions? I tell you what though, um, as I said, um, religion is the scourge of humanity. It's causing our hate, our deaths, um, it's causing so many problems, you know? And I, I like to think that these these problems um, can be solved and, and I think the um, satirical nature of the French press um, in up in the stakes now after 12 journalists were killed last week um, and other individuals were killed in the Jewish supermarket I think that the reaction to publish this following image in the Charlie Hebdo um, uh, satirical uh, magazine um, is basically an up yours to all those people who want to kill others okay I think the same reaction would be um, to take the mickey out of Christianity if, if it had killed the journalists and so on and so on so I, I think I think we should all stand up there right um, going back to what I've, I've put in my own d a diary, um, so what if we print um, images of the Prophet Muhammad? So what if we print images of the Prophet Jesus Christ? Okay, the main message is to love thy neighbour and I'm not going to be afraid of the Muslim terrorist or the Christian terrorist or the Jewish terrorist. We all deserve to be in this world and not to be afraid. And that should be the message. And that should be the message going out. But one thing we're seeing in, the, um, in, in, in France at this minute is now the Muslim is saying, Charlie um, Hebden, um, the satirical magazine, okay, should not be publishing images of Muhammad. So what? I don't really care. If, if, if it insults Islam, then Islam isn't strong enough, okay? Islam needs to be strong enough and say, hey, if you want to take the, the mickey out of our prophet, then fair enough, but we're better than you. The, the Muslims should not be afraid of satirical reactions towards their prophet, okay? I've got some really good Arabic friends and I've I've got several really good Arabic friends who will help me out with various different things and you know what they don't care about these satirical images they follow Muhammad okay but they they know it's in their heart okay they're not gonna let a little image upset them and there, there was um, there was somebody on French media who basically said, "Oh, um, us Muslims are getting sick of these satirical images in the French press." And I'm thinking, well, it was your religion that killed 17 people the previous week. You've got no right to say. It. And the guy was really threatening. We'll be very calm now. We'll be very calm now. And next week, you're going to kill more people. I think all this hatred. In France, in in Israel, yes, in Israel, um, in Syria, Africa, all across the world should stop. It's gone out of hand, and we should stop killing each other. And you know, and at the end of it, you know, one last point now is that Britain, Britain, and the Tony Blair, the murder of Tony Blair, who should be put on trial, caused the invasion into Iraq that meant all the problems that we've had since yes there's been wars between the jew and the arab and the arab and the christian for generations okay but we caused it to spark off again okay saddam hussein was in control of iraq you may not think he was a good man 
You may not think he was a bad man, but the fact of the matter is he kept control in the Middle East. He was the key. He was the key to it all. And then suddenly we invaded um, Afghanistan. We invaded the whole of the Middle East. We inv included invading parts of Africa. And I tell you what, it's all completely wrong. And that should stop. Religion should go. All religions are bad. And they should be swept off the face of the earth. Because I tell you what. We need to live as humans. Humanity does not need religions now. And religions are getting less and less popular. And that's what we need to be thinking of. This is Carl James Langford for my video log. Thanks for watching.